Hi everyone, welcome to Loving Life. My name is Victoria and please subscribe to this channel, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so very much for already did. We are super excited to announce the opening of our merch shop. Go check our Go To Watch Your Joy mugs and t-shirts and you know we all like rainbow unicorns. Show it some love. And today let's eat lunch with me. This is a very little lunch. Um, this is fish that I had left over fish. Actually, I love it uh, cold. And this is with pesto. This is rock fish that I made in all inside the oven with the pesto on top. I have tomato. I have Greek yogurt a little bit here. And I have peppers. And uh, I have sriracha. Sriracha, sriracha, yeah. It's nice. I love, I, I love sriracha. Yeah, so I'm going to add more sriracha. And I have water. So, yeah, sometimes I need to eat those you know, little lunches and Ariel is not home, he's with his friends and Regina is at work, so I decided, oh, oh well, I will eat the leftover fish and I will talk to you. Regina doesn't like this fish cold and she doesn't like to eat. Well, she needs to go somewhere to hit in her job. They doesn't. They don't have a microwave on hand. Wait, where exactly she works? So she took something else. Mm -hmm. This is very good. Very very good. And actually, I don't mind eat it cold. I love. I prefer to eat this fish cold. I don't know why. Do have some? weird preferences like eating your fish cold or something mm. Mm, this is so good sometimes simplicity wins you know not every meal in our house is you know big and huge and uh, Even though it's lunch, it's my first meal of the day, so I can tell it's breakfast. Yeah, I know. I eat very late in the day. But I'm one of those people that just don't hungry in the morning, like... I'm waking up relatively late and still I, I can't eat for a few hours. Yeah. Mostly. Sometimes we do eat in the morning, especially if we have full day of events and we are like waking up really early, but not much. So yeah. Mm. This is good. This is very good. Mm. What I wanted to talk to you about. Let's talk about body positivity or something. Because when uh, you are in the public eye, like I am, you see all the prejudice about body and body shaming on every level possible and imaginable. Whether it's uh, weight, and yeah, and we are very fat phobic society. But you know that, I don't need to talk to you to this. About this, and we have a lot of internalized uh, fat phobia. Which is the worst kind because, you know, it's the voice that say until you're not going to be, you know, thin, you're not worth it. Which I'm so not into this. OMG, I'm not so in. I'm, I'm so not into this. Because let me, let me tell you, it doesn't matter what size you are and I mean it you're worth it. It doesn't matter if it affects or not affects your health because somehow I think, oh, all fat people, it affects your health. Even if 
and still worth it. You still whole human being with your choices. Not everyone doing the same choices and not everyone needs to do the same choices. So yeah, guys, I want to look in your eyes and say you, everyone, each and every one of you is worth it and you are beautiful as you are. And uh, if you want to lose weight, it's absolutely your choice in your body. And um, I know for sure that uh, uh, I know that have some friends that are very thin, very beautiful uh, women and men, and still have huge insecurities because they, because they say that the world judges judges them only on appearance, and no one really tried to know them because they think they think that they are so beautiful, so healthy, has the best healthy habits which is not always the case sometimes it is sometimes it's not so yeah girl, girls women and i'm, I'm referring to it as a, as a women just because i know that ma majority of you like 75 percent of you are, are women but all of you i mean it, it doesn't matter what the gender and um, gender expression you are beautiful as you are today now Right now, even if you are in, you know, in the old jammies or whatever, you are beautiful and you're worth it. And this is what I'm trying to say all the time to all the people that I meet ever. You're worth it. You're worth it. It doesn't matter what and how. Your choices are your choices. And uh, it doesn't some, it doesn't uh, make you less of the person. Whether you choose to wear makeup, you don't choose to wear makeup or whatever you know, uh, physical representation that you have. So, yeah, yay to this. And yeah, and yes, it's awesome to be healthy, it's awesome to exercise, it's awesome to do all of those stuff, but there are sometimes, you know, life life events that can prevent you from doing so, whether it's money, whether whether it's um, motivation, whether it's other ways around. But I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about somehow we feel as a, as a women and as a people in general, not just women. I know for sure I have friends that, have, that struggle with this as well. We feel that if we are not doing, you know, nothing or we're doing a little bit it's not enough it's not okay we need to be different and we need to be thinner be more beautiful younger this is whole new yeah topic that i'm going to talk to you later yeah i'm a hugest advocate for change and to do better for yourself or for your uh, body, for uh, but it needs to be not out of the shame. It needs to be out of the empowerment. If you feel empowered by it, it's awesome. But most of the times that I see online and where new products come out or whatever, oh, I know you feel horrible. I know you feel fat. I know, so like. Yeah, but if I'm overweight and I'm still positive and I'm still loving my body and God forbids in love and God forbids, you know, um, sexually active or whatever, no, 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 it can be possible. Only certain age, certain look needs to be this way and not other way around, which is ridiculous. We all of us, or if you God or women has some type of of um, disability whether it's physical or mental so yeah you're not you're not worth it you're not no this is the society point of view which is absolutely ridiculous so yeah so ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between you're worth it that's what i'm trying to say today So you're worth it and you, you know, I know everyone is struggling with something, whether it's a body image, whether it's, a, a, you know, whether it's other things, you know, income or whatever, like health, but it doesn't take out of you. 
it brings more depth to your personality and to, in, and to you as a person. So, okay. That's why a lot of time I'm, I'm opening the vlogs with high beautiful people of the internet because each and every one of us are beautiful in our own right. And I think there is no, yeah, there's a societal, you know, appropriate, like, People try to put us, I just the other day, I, I heard on a um, discussion on radio in between, you know, themselves that if the child wants, or child wants to be on YouTube, if it's okay, not okay, and what, and if it's good career choice or not. And one of the things that they say, that it's like age restricted. Or certain, you need to look certain way. And they were actually discussing it seriously. And I was, wanted to scream through the radio and to say to, and tell them, it's not true. It's not true. I'm anything but what you said it should be. And still I'm here. And still I have words to, you know, to transfer to the world and... Uh, I know everyone that I meet and I have ever met had something beautiful about them. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, especially in the body positive way. I know that I'm not the most beautiful person in the world, which is totally okay. But you know what? I never wanted to be. Like, I never to, to wanted to be, let's put it, as, you know, I never wanted to be something like someone else. Me is me. I, I have my body with a absolute thankful for because it's the only body that I have. Yes, I'm not the thinnest one and not the, you know, fastest one. But on the other hand, I'm really active. I'm thankful that I can, can manage to be active and to be to do it. But I'm enjoying it. And it took me years to bring myself to enjoy things. To enjoy to be active. Uh, to enjoy to, to do sport. Or um, I really didn't find... I didn't... I really forgot that I really love bicycles, let's say. Mm. Story time. I know that I, I think somewhere I told the story. I think I told the story on my vlogging channel, but not here. But I'm not sure. When we just bought our bicycles. It was like first week or so. Actually, I'm really, really love. I'm really loving bicycle. Like, really, it's one of my passions. If I'm thinking about physical activities, that's one of the things that I really enjoy doing. And we have beautiful, beautiful trailers, um, trails, not trailers, trails here, about like 10 10 k, 10 kilometers or so. Just wonderful. It's flat and. Uh, the scenery is gorgeous. By the way, that's why you need to follow us on um, our vlogging channel. So, and we love it a lot. And um, in the first week or so that I had my bicycle, I had a couple of incidents. Now I'm just, I, I stopped looking at them. But before it was very obvious. To me, when I'm going by next to the person or something, and, like the person was hiking and walking, and uh, I'm uh, like easily on my bike. The people look at me like this. Whoa! Like seriously? What is so bad about it? Because of my size, 
It is ridiculous, ridiculous, and I'm very good on on, on the bike, and um, it was it was awesome. But on the other hand, I saw a couple of those people, and other people were really cheering me up and said, "Oh yeah, go girl, do your sport and uh, no, enjoy yourself." So yeah, I'm just saying how ridiculous it gets to our fat phobia is a general. So, yeah, I hope you are with me on this one and don't beat yourself too much. Over things. I found myself myself and my family when we are relaxed and enjoying ourselves. The weight goes off, uh, off me especially. Uh, way faster than, you know, when I'm stressed and thinking what what I'm going to do next and how I'm going to lose weight and etc. So, FYI, just saying. Hmm. Now, at this point, I've only uploaded, I think, one when one uh, video when I'm, uh, I'm eat, I was eating alone and I was talking about my dyslexia. But I know some people asked me to do more of those, more of those, you know, um, talks. <laughs> you remember in, in Glee, there was like Sue Caesars, like the program, like, and that's how Sue Caesars, so and this is how Victoria sees it. So it was cute. I don't know why it's, why it's popped in my head now. Mm. Awesome. Very, very, very nice. Mm, yum yum. So yeah, I want to finish this video with telling you how beautiful you are. Sorry. So yeah, I want to finish it to tell you how beautiful you are, each and every one of you. It doesn't matter what's your, you know, how you look, uh, what is your, you know, bank account status, what is your life experience. You have something beautiful about you and your worth, your health. Because I know that uh, in our society, is, you know, if your health is damaged by any thing, it's, um, you're already not worth it. Which is not true. Every each and every one of us have something to bring to this world. The perspective, the kindness or... Something else that needs to be, that, that the world needs you. So, the world needs you, each and every one of you. And if you think that you are not worth something, you are. Um, yeah. I love you so much. I think that everyone is beautiful in some way. And uh, thank you so very much. Uh, go towards your joy. Choose something fun every day. And I know, I know, I know how hard it can be to choose something for ourselves and something positive and it's uh, it can be something very small as small as go nap <laughs> you know we are really nap oriented people extremely nap oriented people so yeah that's what i'm going to do right now probably but rather than that do something fun do something good do, do something good for yourself you can understand that 
when you do something good for yourself and you smile, the world will smile around you as well. Because our emotions, our actions totally affect everyone else around us. And, uh, yep. Thank you so much. And uh, remember to thumb up this video, uh, subscribe, and see you next time. And cheers, Victoria.